السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. So now I'm making a video about a new initiative that was issued by Saudi Arabia just the other day. And this initiative includes two programs. The first one is the touristic program. And the second one is uh, the cultural program. So basically, in a nutshell, people now have an opportunity to take part in one of these two programs. Come over to Saudi Arabia uh, free of charge, no tuition fees. And it also includes uh, housing. I mean, if you take part in this program and you will be selected, you will be provided with housing, transport, and associated activities free of charge. This is beautiful. This is a great opportunity. Of course, the competition is going to be high. There is going to be so many people who are going to apply for this program. But still, if you get selected, this is a beautiful opportunity to come over to Saudi Arabia free of charge, explore the country, and study the Arabic language. So yeah, that's why I'm making this video. And in this video, I'm going to give you a brief information about these two programs. And I'm going to show you how you can register for this program. It's uh, very easy. It's, it's straightforward. So first of all, let me say a few words about this organization. It's called King Salman, who is currently the king of Saudi Arabia, Global Academy of Arabic Lang for Arabic Language. It was founded just recently in 2020. And their goal is uh, to take care of the Arabic language. As they say, So they basically want to uh, serve the Arabic language, spread it, and take care of this language. That's their goal. That's the goal of this organization. And just yesterday, they issued this initiative, or they posted an announcement, that now we are going to accept the applications. If you understand the Arabic language, you can take a look here. You know, they published it on their uh, Twitter page. So come over here, visit this page, and you will find some interesting information, inshallah. But I'm, I'm going to jump right into the website, because it has an English version. That's why. So this is the website. I'm going to I'm going to leave the link in the description, inshallah, for the Twitter page and for the program itself. And let's start from the beginning. The first one is called Anil Barnamij about the program. It just it just has an introduction and program goals. You can read it. You know, it's it's just about the program that they are going to take care of the Arabic language and they want to integrate into the world uh, economical system. And they have a vision, and that's why they are trying to spread the Arabic language. This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful goal, alhamdulillah. Because people can use the Arabic language, first of all, for understanding the Quran and Sunnah. And also they can uh, use this language to for, for other good reasons. So you can read it after you watch this video, or you can pause the video and just can read why they started this initiative and why they invest money. And let's just go to the second part. It's uh, about the the programs themselves. The first one is, as I said, the touristic program. You can read the description of this program, but I'll just go right uh, to the uh, technical matters of this program. So the first one, this uh, the first thing that they mention is that where they're going to uh, hold this program. It's going to be held in Jeddah, which is close to Mecca. Uh, in the in the area that's called Hijaz, it lasts four weeks, and there are two batches for this program. The first one starts uh, on the thirteenth thirtieth of April, two thousand twenty three, just in two and a half months, and right after it ends, they start the second batch for this program, and it lasts four weeks. And as they say, students are going to study five days a week, in classes four hours a day. And in addition, they will have uh, cultural and social activities throughout the week. But of course, they have certain requirements for the applicants. And they say that applicants should be permanent residents of non-Arabic speaking countries. Makes sense. Be between the ages, ages of 18 and 45. Okay, fair enough. And pass a placement test above the A1 level. I have no idea when they're going to take this placement test, how it's going to be held, Allahu A'lam, because this is... This is completely new and I don't have any information on it. But inshallah, if, if I have it, I will I will post it on my Telegram channel. And then they say the program fees that it's free and no tuition fees, including housing, transport, and associated activities. So that's what we have in regard to the first program. The second program is the cultural program. And again, you can read the description for this program. 
uh, then it's the same like the the place of study it's Jidda but this program lasts eight weeks eight weeks the course begins on 30th of uh, April just like the first one but they only have one watch okay only one but the duration is eight weeks so it twice it's twice longer and again it's the same people are going to study on a daily basis five days a week four hours a day and they're going to have some cultural and social activities but what's different here is the requirements first of all as they say be international students studying arabic as a second language in universities or language centers i think if you study in a marcus or in a language center i think that would be enough because not that many people study arabic in universities as a second language i think or let's say professionals learning arabic as a second language such as researchers media professionals and so on yeah the, the, the second part still I, I don't understand like professionals learning Arabic as a second language such as researchers like you have to, you need to be a professor or something or you need to be a journalist journalist I'm not sure but I'm reading what you are reading right now so I can only make suggestions or assumptions but I'm not sure and the second requirement is the same be with permanent residents of non-arabic speaking countries be between the ages of 20 and 35 so before it was 18 to 45 right but now it's 20 to 35 though in the post i don't know if it's a typo you see for the tourist program they say 1845 and for the cultural program is the same 1845 but here it says 20 to 35 i'm not sure which one is correct but i think you should rely on on the information that's here on the website maybe they just copy paste it and that's why they made a mistake here but I think this is the more accurate one. And it's the same, program fees, free, no tuition fees. So it's free. And now we get to the third part. Now we get to the third part, which is at G, which means registration. The registration process is very easy. You can do it yourself. I'm going to show it to you, inshallah. Yeah, the registration process is pretty easy. Let me show it to you. You just fill out all the sections. The first one is about your name as it appears in the password. I will say that it's okay. And then they are asking for the agency or nationality. You need to choose your country. I will choose my country, Kazakhstan. That's where I hold my citizenship. Date of birth, where you were born. I will just make it up. I will say that I was born in 2001, in June, 6th of June. Then they're asking for your gender, whether it's male or female. Zakarun, uh, Iqama, like the country of residence. I will say that I'm living in Kazakhstan. Passport number. Okay. Passport expiry date. Uh, let me choose this one. Okay. Now I'm going to make up an email. That now I'm just I just made up an email. Cell phone. Mm, let me just type something. Okay, that's it. Then your proficiency level in Arabic, beginner, intermediate, advanced. And here we can we, we should we need to choose the appropriate program. And what's interesting that they let us to choose they let us choose both programs. You see tourist program and cultural program. I'm not sure if you should do that. You can even choose the third one, like the second batch. Maybe you, you, you should choose all three of them since they let you do that. I would do the same, like I would choose all three. Uh, parts that would be fine i think but it's up to you and then they're asking to provide uh to provide a cv a resume and passport copy and let me provide something okay i'm gonna provide my ta'ahud that i'm allowed to travel between uh, two semesters and here you need to bring up the reason why you are interested in this program and in this section i would recommend you to write something that uh, how this program wouldn't benefit you, but how it would benefit the Arabic world or Saudi Arabia. Maybe you will start a business in the Arabic world. Maybe you will be a teacher of the Arabic language. Because, to be honest, like they invest money. They must invest a lot of money. And they want to see something beneficial for them, not just for you. And there are so many people who are writing here like, I want to study the Arabic language because I need to uh, improve my skills, let's say. But... They don't benefit from your skills, right? You should specify how they are going to benefit from you. So let's say, if I were to master the Arabic language, 
I would uh, teach other people this language. Okay, that's what you can write down. Of course, you should elaborate. You should write at least two hundred or three hundred symbols, you know, to let them know why you are the one that they're supposed to that they should choose. And then you click register tasjil. And here we are. It says tam tasjil, like the registration was carried out, and uh, we will get in touch with you uh, in the future. If you are accepted after the sorting process or after the after the selection process, yeah, I'm a little first. So they're going to have a uh, selection process and then they're going to uh, let people know who is chosen for this program. I think it's going to happen via email. So that's it. That's pretty much it about this program. So take a part in this program. Maybe you will be accepted for this program. Allahu alam, and try to spread this video with others. And don't forget that there is also a similar program, the cultural program, or oh, the tourist program. The tourist program in the Medina University. I made a whole video about it. And I will leave the link for this, uh, for the video in the description, inshallah. But it's paid. You have to pay $2,000 for the Medina University program. But it also has uh, its certain benefits. And again, you can watch the video that I will leave in the description of the video. And uh, you will see. And that's it. Wa jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.